Yo, what is going on YouTube? Are you winning boys? I hope you're winning because on this channel it's all about winning. My name is Bart or Born to Win and today we're gonna continue our let's play of Demon Souls. This is gonna be chapter 21 of this let's play already. In case you missed the last episode, we defeated the old hero in the Shrine of Storms and in this episode we'll head to the third part of the Shrine of Storms to defeat the Archdemon. Of this world but first of all we are actually going to upgrade our character a bit and do one more thing before we go for that so let's head to actually uh, let's head back to the first area of the shrine of storms as we have something to do here let me tell you oh. I have a proposal for you. Hello. Do not be afraid. You have much to Why did he finish speaking? Talk to me. I am Satsuki. I seek a keepsake of my mm -hmm. father. Have you seen the sword inscribed? Marco? No. I will offer you demon swords if you can help me find it. We can search for it, definitely. Not a problem. So, we need a sword called Makoto for Satsuki. We might be nearing the end of the game, guys, but there are still many, many things to go before and to do before we actually finish the Platinum Trophy here. For the moment, we will try to actually get a better weapon. Since our current, whoa! Since our current crescent, no, not crescent. Since our current, what's our weapon called? Uchigatana plus three. I mean, it's it's a good weapon, but it just doesn't cut it, man. It just doesn't cut it. We have to take advantage of the fact that we are a magical character to get a better weapon for us. And we have actually never passed through here. If you remember when we were in oh god oh god okay we survived although we probably shouldn't have if you remember the first part of the shrine of storms we have not actually gone through here and and kill those skeletons Which we will do right away. Did you die? No, you didn't. Of course you didn't. Okay, is there anything more to collect here? Okay, there's another trap. And you gave me a copper key. What does that open? I actually don't know. I came here for another thing. So let's go down. And we have to head here. Because there is this double katana wielding skeleton. And we want the loot. We want the loot behind him. Okay, we get some soul remains. And this should be should be the crescent falcon plus one it's a very very good weapon guys and we should have picked it up sooner honestly it should would have made um some of our fights with those bosses much much easier but it's okay we got it now and we can go back to the nexus for now we have one more thing to do before we can head to kill the archdemon so another thing we need to do is talk to mr stockpile tom and oh we already have it on us that's fine so we need this demon soul the searing demon soul for killing the flame lurker and then we need to go to the stone fang tunnel the first area
and we have to go to Mr. Ed, Mr. Blacksmith Ed. Whoa! Cool. And Mr. Blacksmith Ed, once we talk to him, he's gonna ask us for that demon soul. What if it be a blacksmith? Then show me your steel. If or not, he won't. Head straight <laughs> for the door. He just asks us to leave. With it, I can forge new breeds of weapon. Bring me your most powerful souls. Okay, he kind of indirectly asked us to give him the Searing Demon Soul, and that's what we're gonna do. A wise choice. You've done well to put your trust in the great blacksmith, Ed. So, by doing that... Demon soul. By doing that, this uh, will earn us a trophy, but more importantly, this means that we can now upgrade magical weapons. And as you can see, our Crescent Falcon plus one has 67 base damage, but 82 magical damage. These are really, really good stats for a basic version of a weapon. So, we will go ahead and upgrade it even further. And the, b the best thing about it is that it actually scales with our magic skill. So the the more powerful we are at magic, the the better this sword ac sword actually gets as well. And we need some more moon shade stone shards. Okay. All done. I see. Huh. Let's see where we can get some more moon shade stone. Yo guys, so here we are in the Tower of Latria. I actually thought we would not need to come back here ever again after defeating all the demons and the old monk, but uh, God help us, we need to come back here to upgrade our weapon, the uh, Falcon into Moon, Falcon plus five, and we actually need some Moonlight uh, Stone Shards. I think we only have a couple of them at the moment and we'll need to uh, get the rest that we need to actually upgrade our weapon fully. It's going to become a beast of a weapon, so it's really, really worth it, but um, it is a bit of a grind to get those uh, Moonlight Stone Shards. So I thought to myself that instead of waiting for some uh, shards to drop from lizards or to drop from those prisoners, because uh, the prisoners in this uh, first level of the Tower of Latria actually dropped these stones. I thought to myself, instead of dropping uh, or trying to farm those for stones, let's just get, farm some souls instead, let's buy them from the former noble's wife, which is a merchant here in the Tower of Latria. Let's just get them this way. It'll save me some trouble, save me some... Oh, there she is, okay. I had some initial issues to locate her here, but uh, there she is. And we should have the Moonlight Stone Shard here, yeah. And it costs 3,000 souls. Boy, oh boy, this is gonna be painful. Um, we need 20 of them, if I'm not mistaken, to upgrade our Falcon into Moon Falcon plus 5. Um, and this stone, actually, and the upgrade into Moon Falcon means that our weapon will scale, the damage of our weapon will scale with our magic stats. So the more magic uh, we have, the more magical skills we have, the stronger the weapon will be, which is going to be great for our character. Um, we have four of those already, so we only need 16 more, I think. So if we buy 16, we should be able to upgrade that Falcon into Moon Falcon plus five, and it's gonna become a true beast. Okay guys, so here we are in the smiting grounds, going to the blacksmith head, and let's try not to die on the way, oof, that was close, let's go to the blacksmith head to upgrade our falcon into moon falcon plus 5, it should be all good to go, yeah, we have many of those moonlight stone chunks and uh, shards and whatnot, and let's do it, boy oh boy, now we can continue playing the game, what a weapon that is. And it's only gonna get stronger as we scale up our magical skill. Let's just upgrade our equipment as well, and we are good to go. And we actually got ourselves a Moon Falcon plus five. It took quite a good bit of uh, Moonlight Stone and Sharp Stone to upgrade it like that, but this weapon is absolutely amazing. 
uh, this is the weapon that I was thinking about when I when I was uh, saying in all those previous episodes we need to sort things out, we need to get a better weapon. This is the one, boys. This is the one. Okay, let's remove whatever we don't need from our storage. Okay, that's all fine. Let's keep that bow. And we have some arrows. Nice. Okay, so we are good to go. We will just level up and then go for the Archdemon of the Shrine of Storms. And here we are gonna go with magic. Yep. Yep, all finished. So, let's go for the Archdemon of the Shrine of Storms. We are going to the Altar of Storms, Archstone of the Old Hero Demon, the Heroes's... Heroes's? Remains were cleansed with bright water and offered to the Storm King a beacon for countless storm beasts whose broad wings blacken the sky. Let's go. Altar of Storms, Shrine of Storms. And here we go. Let's go for another um, Archdemon. Looks like we'll get revenge on all those damn stingrays. And there she is, the mummy. Or daddy, the Storm King. Okay, I'm not sure. I think we have to go here. And we probably need to roll around a good bit trying to avoid all those projectiles. Okay, a new moon grass. Yeah, just look at that. My worst nightmare. Having to avoid all that. Okay, I think we need a special weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Is it here? Yeah, we have to remove the sword. And we get the storm ruler. Let's take cover because we need to switch our weapons. I work where can we find some cover? No, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. We have to keep running, we have to keep moving, otherwise it's gonna go downhill very quickly. Okay. I'm just gonna keep walking as I change it. Okay, that's fine actually. We didn't even need to stop to take cover okay nice let's uh, heal a bit and not get hit cool and let's start to get rid of them ah oh, boys we will the power we will the power of the storm ruler Move. let's destroy all of them for all the pain they have caused me goodbye okay it really drains our stamina okay. no that's a miss hit okay let's heal maybe let's not take any risks oh we are stuck and bam whoa there is the mummy or the, the daddy sorry i don't really recognize gender of sing race whoa and we got hit by the daddy let's heal How did that miss? Okay, doesn't matter. We'll get him next time. That's oh god. And we died. We got a double hit.
kids and unfortunately we died. Okay, let's try it again. Right now we don't have to actually run over there to get the weapon, so that's great. And let's make our way over here. Nice, two in one. Nope, that's a miss. It's quite difficult because it really drains our stamina. And then we have no way of actually dodging. Oh god. Okay, maybe let's take over here. Okay, I think that's gonna be good cover. And then every now and then we can just pick out and kill one of them. Okay, unfortunately we got hit again. Let's go back and heal. Okay, that's fine. It's kind of hard to get them when they are moving. Nice. Anyone else wants to target me? You! Nice, do it all again. And you! Who else wants some? And there's another one. There is another one. Oh god, nope. Let's go back and heal. Cool, we're doing just fine. Oh, run, run, run. And there's the daddy. Oh my god, oh my god, let's take cover. We got hit badly. This daddy really is no joke. I think we need to get right under him to actually cause any damage. And where are the babies? Are they are they all gone? I think they are. Yeah. We can concentrate on the daddy now. Hit him. And again. Nice. Let's heal. Okay, I think we are going to take over for the next round. Because if we get hit by some of those arrows, some of those projectiles, we are done, boys. He fires it like. What, five, six, seven, eight at once? Okay, there we go. No! Okay, that was too quick. Okay, now we are free to attack him. One. Come on, make it two. Can we hit him for a third time? Come on. No, that's a miss. That is fine. Let's go back and heal. And try to stay in cover for a bit longer the next time. Okay, fire it. And they all missed. Let's go. Let's finish him up. One more hit. And there we go, boys. Another demon is down. Another arch demon has been vanquished. And we get another trophy. And of course, we get resurrected to our body form. So, let's take a few moments just to loot everything here. And we are getting so many Cloudstone shards. Was there anything else above here on this ledge? No. To challenge the storm. You will need a sword that can rend the sky. Okay, so it looks like 
a sign from the content or the, the game creators actually as a bit of a hint that you need that sword actually because it might not be so evident that you need to uh, pull it out I imagine some people might want to try a bow once they enter this fight but of course that's gonna be extremely difficult to actually take down the boss with some more cloudstone shards and we have 60,000 souls on us which is crazy some more holy arrows yeah I mean you find you run up here you find the holy arrows and what do you do you just take your bow and you shoot the boss like what else would you do and then it takes ages and ages if it's even possible I'm not even sure if it's possible to kill them with that bow you probably need to stand there for half an, half an hour like I did when I killed the dragon in the palace of Boletaria okay I think that's it for loot so we can go back to the arch zone and we can make it back to the nexus oh there are some lizards here actually can I kill them using that? No. Okay, let's take our Moon Falcon and let's see if we can kill them. Okay. Can we go can we go for the second one too? Come on. Okay. We have no stamina left. Come on, one more hit. Nice. We got two of them and we get Moonshade Stone and Moonshade Stone Chunk. Nice. Okay, we looted just about everything here. Never mind, I think there's something more here. <laughs> A star right here, a soul. Okay, that's gonna give us quite many souls. And here we died so we can get our souls 70. 1000 souls. We are gonna level up quite a bit once we go back to the Nexus, once we find the Archstone because I'm lost. Ah, there it is. Need to head back up. Nice. Over here. Let's go back to the Nexus and first pick up the Demon Soul and we get the Storm Demon Soul. Very nice. And we go back to the Nexus. The Shrine of Storms is complete. So here we are, back in the Nexus. And let's stockpile works. this Demon Soul straight away. And we can probably use those uh, to just consume them. Let's stash away on those Cloud Stones as well. And the Storm Ruler, since we won't need it as a weapon. We cool, everything stashed away. Uh, let's level up now. Let's go for maybe two points of it intelligence and one more of magic. And we need ten more thousand souls to actually level up. Are we gonna be able to get enough by consuming these souls? Let me see. I think that's only 800. That's only 1000. And that's 5000. Whoops, we don't have enough. We are still missing what? 3000 souls. Do we have anything here left to use? Oh, a storied hero soul. Cool. And I don't think we should be using any of those. We actually might. I think the soul of the dragon, the one we killed with the bow, where we spent half an hour shooting the bow at, at, at the dragon, I think we can consume that one because we don't need uh, this for any spells or miracles or anything like that. And we are missing 317 souls. Hi. Okay, let me quickly grab that. And we'll be back in the Nexus. Okay, so we have enough souls to level up again after this brief cut and we will go for magic again as it also scales with our moon falcon and it gives us some more damage uh, when we use the sword. So the last thing to do this episode would be to of course return to the soul form and then we will head to uh, the valley of defilement for the second 
sub-level of this world. So guys, I think this is enough for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. We did some uh, stone farming, we did some material farming and soul farming as well. And we leveled up our uh, moon falcon to plus five, which is probably one of the strongest weapons we can wield with our class. Uh, we got a brilliant weapon on our hands right now. And we then defeated the, um, the Storm King, the Archdemon of the Shrine of Storms. So, I hope you enjoyed. And in the next episode, we'll be heading to the Valley of Defilement again. Um, so yeah, that's it for this episode of Demon's Souls. And I will see you in the next chapter tomorrow.